Welcome to the Signals Collection. You now have access to three cutting-edge signal detection tools. MLE signal, trend magnitude and true break signals. But here's what's crucial to understand. These signals are designed to work in conjunction with Stack Z. In the next minutes, I'll show you how these tools confirm high probability opportunities, specifically when price interacts with stack zones. The stack signal relationship. This is the key concept you need to master. Signals are only relevant when we hit a stack. Think of stack Z as your institutional grade radar system. Identifying where smart money positioned itself and the signals collection as your precision timing tools that activate when price reaches those zones. The rule is simple. Look for bearish signals after hitting a stack above current price and bullish signals when we hit stacks below current price. This stack first approach ensures you're only taking signals where multiple analytical frameworks have already identified institutional interest. MLE signal with stack confirmation, well, MLE signals become incredibly powerful when used with stack zones, so not just on their own. This machine learning system performs advanced algorithmic analysis, but its signals are only actionable when they occur at stack levels. So you can see here, these are just the signals that I'm going to cover in this video, but typically you'd be looking for shorts after hitting a stack. So maybe there was a stack here, yeah, and you would get then the short signal on the machine learning tool. And vice versa for longs. If we had a untested bullish stack, when price hits a blue stack above and MLE signal generates a bearish pattern with high confidence showing through those color-coded gradient signals. That's your institutional grade short opportunity. Conversely, when price touches a stack below and MLE signal identifies bullish patterns through its probabilistic weighting system, you have confluence for long entries, you see. The adaptive filtering and volatility detection ensure you're getting quality signals, but remember no stack interaction, no trade consideration. Trend magnitude, on the other hand, you'll notice these signals are much more regularly occurring. And what that means, it's giving you the er often the earliest opportunity to enter a trade once we hit a stack. Trend magnitude, stack validation, it's similar. But trend magnitude triangle markers become your stack validation system instead. This tool tracks momentum lifecycle transitions and market sentiment shifts. But it's true. Power merges at stack levels. So what you'll notice is trend magnitude provides you with a lot of signals. Yeah. And all that means is it's giving you a lot more opportunity to enter earlier on. What you'll also notice the indicator is seeking to save on space, right? Because of the complex nature on the back end. Signals will be removed from the chart anytime price comes and violates their creation point. When price hits a stack above and you see a bearish triangle indicating volatility expansion with weakening breadth, that's confirmation the stack is working as resistance. When price touches a stack below and a bullish triangle appears showing volatility contraction with momentum shifts, that stack is likely to provide support. The sentiment analysis of fear and greed cycles helps you understand why stacks are holding or failing, but always wait for the stack interaction first. True break signals and stack tests. True break signals provide the structural validation for stack interactions, just like the other two. When price approaches a stack, true breaks dual time frame analysis shows you the structural context around that institutional zone. In settings, you'll notice 
you can change the time frames yourself, right? So time frame one is showing true breaks on the five minute. Same for 15 minute, right? And you can define what shape you want for those time frames. So time frame one up here, time frame two here. You can also set signals for any of the tools. For true break, I'd have time frame one bullish and bearish, and I just set one for each and once per bar close. So we know it's confirmed, right? And so typically most of the time you're going to get a signal to enter from the other tools. But this is almost bordering on a sentiment tool. It shows a continuation of trend. And you know when you get these breaks, it's typically going to be much more potent than, uh, say, your typical order block retest or uh, creation, right? Because the complexity and decisiveness from the market to actually break and cause these shifts is much more significant. The dynamic range management helps you understand the structural framework around each stack, making your stack-based decisions more precise. The complete stack signal workflow. Here's your complete workflow. First, identify your blue stack using stack Z. These are your institutional zones of interest. Then wait for price to interact with the stack. Only after stack contact do you look for the signal confirmation. The stack first, signal second approach ensures every trade has institutional backing before technical confirmation. So that's the signals collection working with stack Z. Institutional intelligence first, precision timing second, never take signals without stack interaction. Let stacks identify where smart money position themselves, then let signals confirm the reaction. Thank you.